fair for me to do that. I think they played it really well. This is an interesting one. Um, I don't know what to make of this team. I mean, it's Double Dog. They have a couple of answers for Solgaleo, but none of them are terribly... Terribly, like... Um, how do I say it? None of them are, like, terribly annoying. I think I always lead off Solgaleo. And Venusaur. I can bring my... Do I bring Venusaur? I don't think I bring Venusaur. I think I bring Torkoal, though. I think I can go Solgaleo plus Mimikyu, Torkoal, Palkia. All right. I've been experimenting with Dawn Wings and Necrozma. I gotta say, it has a niche paired with Ndidi Female and Choice Scarf Zoroark. It does pretty okay, especially against Calyrex Ice. I think you can probably drop the Zoroark for something else. Um, I mean, maybe on that particular team it works, but there's probably something a little bit more reliable. I'm willing to bet there's something a little bit more reliable than the Zoroark. Hey, thanks for the bits, Bean. Okay, so here's the thing. Neither of these guys have a good time here. I think it's in my best interest just to take the hit from for what it is and try to trick room. Because I should live the Cinderace hit, you know? I should live it. They also don't Dynamax, which is great, because their Dynamax would have gone first there. How are you guys feeling about the new stream schedule, by the way? Like, four times a week-ish. How does that feel? Foul play? Yo. That's a cin- that, that's, that's not a- that's not a Cinderace. That's not a Cinderace, guys. It's also not surviving this turn, but that's some- that's- that's a whole different issue. Unless it's Sash, obviously, as it's not. Yeah. Alright, cool. So I should get the Trick Room off unless they flinch me. I was like, yo, that's not a Cinderace, guys. Fire Blast. Ow. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Freaking Fire Blast burn. That sucks. Personally love the stream schedule. Alright, sweet. I mean, I'm still at neutral, but that's, that's really bad. Fire Blast burn, that's pretty unlucky. Bubs, when you said the stream was cursed, I now agree. Or not, when you said the tournament was cursed, I, I now agree. On the bright side, I can do this. I don't do that. I just, I just go for the annihilation. Listen, if everyone's having bad luck, at the very least, we know everyone's having fun. We're not having fun. As long as everyone's on an equal playing field, that's all that matters. <laughs> Obviously, it's preferable if you all had fun, but, you know. But, something to note is this is a special Guzzlord, so... I'm not really scared of it, since I'm probably going to survive whatever hit it goes for here. Max Flare. I should live that pretty easily. Yeah. If it's weakness policy, it's going to be kind of annoying, because it should live the hit now with the double HP. Or not, you know? Don't be weakness policy. Awesome. That makes my job a lot easier. That is a mean looking Guzzlord. Still get the one shot, because we're at plus two even though we're burned. And I'm feeling pretty good about this game. But that was a really rough start. It's weird seeing both sword and shield mons, you know? Ron Johnson, thank you so much for the follow. Zamazenta, okay. I mean, that's just a Will-O-Wisp asking to happen, so I'm going to go for it. Luckily, Zamazenta can't Dynamax, and it doesn't really like anything that I have in the back, truly. 
Uh, so I'll just try to burn this guy, and I suppose a steel spike is reasonable here. Is this a tourney? This is a ladder tournament. So basically, it's like an unofficial ladder. They really don't want me to land this Will-O-Wisp. I wonder if Max HP Mimikyu survives this if I, w if I miss. Because I'm going to get the plus one for Max Steel Spike. I'm definitely taking this Behemoth Bash, don't get me wrong. But like, it, had I missed, I don't know if I would actually like go down from the Behemoth Bash since Max HP and the Defense Boost. Guzzlord's your favorite UB. I think Guzzlord's great. I like um, I like the weirder looking ones. I'm, I'm a big fan of Zergatry. I think Zergatry is my overall favorite, but uh, Blacephalon's a close second. And Nihila goes like third. Yeah, no, I might have actually lived that without the burn. All right, cool. Let's click Psychic Fangs, because we never get to see that move. And we'll just play rough. I don't really need to keep these guys in the field anymore. They're probably just going to forfeit. No? All right. Attack drop. Go. No? Okay. Cool animation. Go. <laughs> Guys, I have to say, the stream has been doing phenomenal lately. We Oh, we survived that. Holy hell. The stream's been doing phenomenal lately. I think I'm actually going to get partnership this month. And I, I have to say, thank you. Um, we're at 79 viewers already. So if you guys are willing to support me, uh, I am willing to support myself in being a good streamer. Obviously, I'm never going to be that good, but <laughs> at the very least, I get a partner. All right, Psychic Fang should KO from this range, I think. Nice. All right, good game. Nihiligo is just one of the best Pokemon ever made. I think many of the Ultra Beasts hit like a certain design philosophy that like I just really love. How they're very streamlined into one particular. You're, you're, you're like tunnel vision to one particular thing, like max speed, max special attack on like, on like certain builds, right? But. You can also do crazy things with them, like Kartana, it's either Sash, completely offensive, or you can say, alright, its stats are high enough, I'm just going to focus on speed and bulk, so that way I can slap an Assault Vest and get maybe two or over three more hits off. 100. Last time we had over 200, so I'm going to say this time it's probably over 100. Trainer's been found, nice. Gaspar. Okay. Thank you for the follow, Jimmy. So here, um, let me see. So Groudon and Eveltal. This team doesn't do too good versus uh, Palkia if I put my cards right. So I think what I want to do is definitely have to be careful with that. Uh, <laughs> I have to be careful with that um, Eveltal, obviously. I think I want to lead off Mimikyu and Palkia, and that won't be terrible. I can actually, Mimikyu and Cinder is a lot safer. And I just go Sogaleo Palkia here. Wanted to play in the tour until I realized I can't procrastinate on homework any longer. Completely understandable. I have to do homework tonight too, which is why stream has to end at 7.30 exactly. Otherwise, I might not get it done in time. Bean, thank you so much for the bits, bro. You inspired me to build Zygarde Zamazenta, but I have no clue what to make the other mods. Believe me, you're going to want to... <laughs> You're going to want to switch that to a Zacian. Zygarde Zamazenta is fun and all, but it's a little bit too passive. Zacian's a little bit better. Even Solgaleo is actually not bad. Uh, also, thank you for the subscription, Liability Mike. And thanks for wishing me luck, Just. So here's what's really poggers, right? If I can burn the Seveltal, that'd be amazing. They want to stop my Trick Room, but I think... I can pretty reliably stop them from doing that 
by going for a fake out. I have to call the, the Dynamax correct, right? Um, they only have an incentive to Dynamax the Eveltal. So if I fake out this Reggie like, yeah, it should be fine. That's fine. I still get the Trick Room off. Heat Wave. Okay, so we've identified Special. Hopefully no burn on the Mimikyu. There we go. Um, probably not running foul play on this thing. He might be. Obviously, like that's still a, a possibility. Uh, but I'm going to say it's probably within my interest to go ahead and snarl this guy. And I might actually just go hard into Solgaleo right here. Because if he intends on heat waving again, that's great. As long as he doesn't like foul play me, I eat the hit really well. Okay, awesome. Awesome. I still snarl next turn. There's the Volt Switch. That's fine. Ooh, that looks like a crit. Yeah. That, that could mess me up. It's making me reconsider who I Dynamax now. That wasn't great. And there's the Groudon. Okay. So this isn't ideal, um, but I think what I can do here is I can get in my Mimikyu. And I'm going to go ahead and Parting Shot this Groudon. I don't want to Dynamax anymore this turn, and I'm kind of wasting my Trick Room, but... Ugh. Very unfortunate crit there. Makes it a little bit harder for me to, to want to set up in front of that thing. Yep, there's the withdrawal. Porygon 2, that's fine. If I can get a Will-O-Wisp off in the sky, I'll be very, very happy. Protect. That's fine. I'm still... I'm, I'm definitely getting a Will-O-Wisp off now. Yeah. I should always go for this, and I should always parting shot. Because regardless of what comes in, it doesn't like the, the outcome of that. Okay, ally switch isn't great. <laughs> no, don't do this to me. Not in my own tournament. Don't you don't you ally switch. Oh. <laughs> Alright. I hate this move so much. I was talking crap about it earlier today. I was like, ally switch isn't even a good move. It's just like a lucky move. But I have to do my best to stay true to my word that ally switch is a bad move. What move did they give up for Ally Switch? Definitely not Recover. Precipice Blades, I should eat that up on both of my Mons, I think. Yeah. And I have yet another turn to go for this. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Trick Room with my Porygon too, And go for another Will-O-Wisp on the Groudon. Or a trick room in my Palkia, because I think they're going to try to reverse the trick room. And all they're going to end up doing is giving me more trick room. Oh, or I'm just going to reverse my own trick room. That too. Alright, I connect at the very least. They might be Lumberry. If they were willing not to protect on that, they're probably Lumberry. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, if they're not protecting, they're Lum. P-Blades? Okay, okay, that's fine. Now I'm probably faster than this Groudon, funny enough. I'm gonna start Max Wormwinding. Boneless Curum. <laughs>
I should be able to parting shot on this guy pretty safely. Since he is at minus one. And Wormwind catches everything that comes in. Unlikely it's running more speed than my Palkia. Because I'm base 100 and I have four investment. Alright, nice. So whatever comes in is going to hate this. Especially Eveltal, actually. Watch the Malai switch. Does last place get a prize? Yes, they get kicked out from all future tournaments. I'm kidding. No, they don't. <laughs> These are mostly just for fun and for a preview of the upcoming metagame, you know? Hey, think of it the follow Cherry or Cherish. Max Wormwind. That is not a Salt Vest. That looks like it. If it's not a Salt Vest, it might be like Life Orb. Actually, no, we've seen it attack. And it wasn't Life Orb, right? Dude, I hope they Trick Room. <laughs> you know how you know how freaking hype that would be if they Trick Roomed right here? I don't know what other, what other move they could click. Maybe a protect? Not not protect. Maybe like a recover. Try attack. That's fine. Just don't hax me here. Poggers. Poggers. All right. Gonna get rid of that Evel talk because it makes it harder for them to deal with my mons. Um. And I just keeps I keep max worm winding um, because it's just ideal, like it catches literally everything. Oregon two doesn't one v one Solgaleo. Did the ID expire? You have to type in the ID before the tournament starts. Otherwise, you're not able to join. Yep, that's fine. Because I'm still getting damage off here, and I'm not really concerned about the damage output of that Eveltal right now. I'm also faster than it, which is signed to note. Hoggers. Yeah, awesome. Does like nothing. Okay. So this is still winnable. This is still winnable in my opinion. I need to get rid of this Porygon too. I need to. It's like of the utmost importance. And it looks like I did. It's all good, Tool. Okay. Sending so knows they still haven't Dynamaxed, obviously. Fandango, thank you for the follow. Reggie, like you could be kind of annoying here. Okay, I think I know my play, I just don't like it. Get in there, Solgaleo. <laughs> Actually, um, yeah, no, I have to cycle my Incineroar if I want to win. They're definitely going to just Dynamax this Groudon and annihilate me. Yep. If they, like, miss an Electroweb or something, maybe I can do some smart positioning and possibly get away with a win, but it's gonna be... This is kind of an upwards battle, you know? It's, it's pretty uphill from this point. T-Bolt? Okay. 
Noted. Noted. I'm assuming a Max Quake as well into that slot? Okay. I probably lose. I'm gonna say that right now. But it's not impossible to win. It's just very unlikely. I don't think I set up the trick room. Like, ever. My play is pretty obvious and very unfortunate. That's like the best way to describe this. I've been crit five times, your tour is cursed. Agreed. I'm facing ally switch Poirigown 2 right now. Oh, and they're also running a fast Groudon. That's also not great. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I lost this one. Alright, I'm going to forfeit there. Yeah, um... In retrospect for the match, Ally Switch Porygon 2 didn't make too much of a difference beyond saving the, the Groudon like once. And beyond that, it was just like the crit volt switch that kind of made Solgaleo not viable for the endgame. But I think, uh, I think they played pretty okay.